Welcome back to the Fulton County Gospel News Podcast. My name is Barry O'Dell, and I am your host. Fulton County Gospel News is a bi-monthly publication of The Church of Christ in Mammoth Spring, Arkansas. If you'd like to learn more about the paper, visit our website, mammothspringchurchofchrist.com, and all of our information is there. If you'd like to receive the paper, it is free of charge. You can receive it either through the United States Postal Service, you can receive it in email as a PDF, or if you'd like to have a bundle of the papers sent to your congregation, again, visit our website, get a hold of us, and we'll be more than happy to add you to our mail list. In this edition of the podcast, I want to read a brief article to you that comes from the March 2005 edition of the paper, and it's written by Brother Paul Sane, and I know that many folks who are associated with the Churches of Christ know him. He's a very prolific writer and speaker, and does an excellent job, I think, with this particular article. Like I said, it is a bit brief, but the subject matter he covers in this article is something that never gets old. We always need to hear it. Those of us who are members of the church need to be reminded of it, and those who are not need to know it. And the title of the article is this, Why Become a Member of the Church of Christ? So here we go. Why should a person become a member of the Church of Christ? I wish to offer several reasons. The scriptures are found at the end of each reason. Therefore, please take full advantage of the reasons given by taking your Bible and looking up the references carefully. Number one, because it was founded by the scriptural builder, Christ, Matthew sixteen eighteen. Number two, because it was founded upon the scriptural foundation, Matthew sixteen eighteen, First Corinthians three eleven, Ephesians two twenty. Number three, because it was founded at the scriptural place, Jerusalem, Isaiah two two through three, Luke twenty four forty six through forty nine, and Acts chapter two. Number four, because it was founded at the scriptural time, Pentecost, following the resurrection of Christ. Acts 2, the church is used in the present tense. Number five, because it has a scriptural name, Matthew 16, 18, Romans 16, 16. Number six, because it is scriptural in organization, Philippians 1, 1. Number seven, because it has the Bible as its only creed. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, and 2 Peter 1, 3. Number 8, because it is undenominational, John 17, 20 and 21. Number 9, because it teaches and administers scriptural baptism, Matthew 28, 18 through 19, Acts 2, 38, John 3, 23, and Romans 6, 4. It is immersion, Acts 8, 38. Number 10, because it gives scriptural answers to the question, What must I do to be saved? Acts 2.38, Mark 16.16, and Acts 22.16. Number 11, because of its scriptural teaching and observance of the Lord's Supper. 1 Corinthians 11.23-25, Acts 20 and verse 7, and Acts 2.42. Number 12, because it has scriptural music in worship. Ephesians 5.19 and Colossians 3.16. Number 13, because salvation is in Christ's church. Acts 20.28, Ephesians 5.23, Colossians 1.18, and Acts 2.47. Friend, why not obey the simple gospel of Christ today? Sin condemns one soul eternally, but God has given His Son making it possible for sin to be removed through obedience to the Son's will for mankind today. But all is in vain unless one obeys. There are so many religions, it is confusing until one can objectively view the Bible. Upon looking to the Old Testament, we can see the kingdom, or church, in prophecy. The Messiah would come and details were given that man could identify him. Then, in the life of Christ, the Son actually stated that some were hearing His voice who would not taste of death until the kingdom, or church, came with power. Mark 9, 1. Acts 2 records for us some of the events that took place on the day of Pentecost, the time when the Lord's church began. We can become a member of that same church today, the one that Christ said He would build, Matthew sixteen eighteen, the one that is found within the pages of the inspired Bible. By doing today what they did then, we can become today what they became then, just Christians. If we can assist you in your obedience to Christ, please allow us to do so. 
So like I said, that's a very brief article, but it's extremely important. People need to know that there is a church that we read about in the Bible that can be found in the world today, and it's laid out plainly in Scripture. And these are 13 points, and again, very succinct. Uh, scriptures linked to each one, but there are other points that we could include in that same discussion. I just frankly don't find it necessary at this point. But here's the thing. You can go to the Bible. You can read about that church in the New Testament. You can see how it functioned in the world. You can see how it worshiped. You can see what people did to become members of it, and we can be members of the same church today. And so if there is any way that we can help you in that pursuit, then please don't hesitate to get a hold of us. So for us at the Fulton County Gospel News Podcast, again, visit our website, mammothspringchurchofchrist.com. All of our contact information is there. If you have questions about this subject, about what it means to become a member of the Church of Christ, about what it means to be a member of the church that you read about in the Bible, we here at Mammoth Spring will be more than happy to talk with you and answer any question that you may have. Again, if you're interested in the paper, you can visit that same website, get a hold of us, and we'll be happy to do whatever you would like us to do in terms of getting that paper. Thanks again for listening today to the Fulton County Gospel News Podcast, and we will catch you on the next episode.